Hello and welcome to the Nevada Promise Scholarship Training. In order to meet the mandatory training requirement, you will have to watch this video in its entirety and complete the acknowledgement form that comes along with it. The training will not be counted if we do not receive the acknowledgement form. The Promise Scholarship is a last dollar scholarship meaning it is applied after certain grants and or scholarships have been applied. Those are the Federal Pell Grant, Silver State Opportunity Grant, Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant, and the Millennium Scholarship. Everyone that has applied for the Nevada Promise Scholarship will receive the scholarship as long as they complete the requirements. Pay close attention to what those requirements are and when the due dates are. Failure to complete the requirement by the due date will result in a loss of eligibility. Completing this training and sub submitting the acknowledgement form at the end counts as one requirement. We will not count the training as complete if we do not receive the acknowledgement form. The other requirements are applying for admission to GBC, completing your FAFSA, meeting with your assigned mentor, completing eight hours of community service, and completing all of the items listed on your to-do list. Apply for admission to GBC as soon as possible. It does not cost anything to apply for admission and this does not mean you have to attend GBC. If you have not applied for GBC and you submit your FAFSA, we will not receive that information. To apply for admission, you can visit our website, gbcnv.edu. Here is a little more information about Great Basin College. Great Basin College serves our rural communities in Nevada across 86,500 square miles. We have campuses in Winnemucca, Pahrump, Ely, and Elko. We also have different centers across the state. On this slide, we have listed some frequently used departments as well as the main numbers for the Pahrump, Winnemucca, and Ely campuses. The controller's office is who you want to contact with any billing questions or to set up payment plans. The Academic Success Center has live tutoring, placement testing, proctored testing, and computer labs. The help desk is who you want to contact if you need assistance with your user ID or password and for any basic support for the GBC computer applications. There is also a frequently asked questions section on their webpage, and it can be pretty helpful. FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Filling out the FAFSA each year allows college students to access financial aid for college, including grants, scholarships, work study, and federal student loans. The FAFSA is due in our office by April 1st, 2024. Once your FAFSA is submitted to GBC, you will receive an email that will list at least one additional form for you to fill out. This will also be listed on your MyGBC student portal under the section titled To-Do List. All items on that list are due no later than July 1st. Call the Financial Aid Office if you have any questions or concerns regarding the FAFSA or the items on your to-do list. To fill out the FAFSA, you will need to go to studentaid.gov and select the FAFSA for the 2024-2025 school year. The FAFSA will not be available until late December. The information they will be asking for is going to be using your parents' 2022 tax information. 
If you do not have a social security number, please reach out to our office as there is a separate form you will need to fill out since you do need to have a social security number for the FAFSA. If you yourself have a social security number but your parents do not, you are required to fill out the FAFSA. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to give us a call at the Financial Aid Office where any one of us are more than happy to assist you. Now here are a few things to keep in mind. Every student will be paired up with a Promise Mentor in April. When you receive your mentor information, reach out to them and schedule a meeting time as soon as possible. You must meet with them no later than July 1st. During your senior year, you are required to complete a minimum eight hours of community service. There is an online form you will have to use in order to report those hours to us. The way we communicate with you is through email. We will send regular reminders as deadlines are approaching. If you use your school email to apply for the scholarship, please contact us so we can switch it to a personal email address. Once you graduate from your high school, you will not have access to your school email and there will be no way to receive the notifications we are sending you. Community service hours will be reported through an online form. We will send the link through email in March after the training deadline has passed. We recommend you write down any community service you have already completed or will complete before we send that form out so you have it ready when it's time to report those hours. You will be asked to enter the date, amount of time, location, and the person that oversaw your community service. You will also need to enter the person's email address and they will be sent an email asking them to verify the information you entered. So once you've graduated high school and completed all of the requirements for the scholarship, what happens next? You must enroll in a minimum of 12 credits in the fall and spring semesters in order to receive the scholarship. It is best to meet with an advisor to know whether you should take a placement test and which classes you should be taking. To maintain your eligibility throughout your time at GBC, you will need to meet three standards each semester. Meet satisfactory academic progress, report eight hours of community service each semester, meet with your mentor at least once each semester, and submit a FAFSA and complete the to-do list items each year. Failure to meet any of these requirements will result in a loss of eligibility for the scholarship. And next, you would get ready to start your college career with us. Now remember, in order to have this training be counted, you must submit your acknowledgement form. Once you submit the acknowledgement form, you will receive a confirmation email once we have received it. Save that email for your records. If you have any questions, you can reach me by email, phone, or in person at the Student Financial Services Office inside of Berg Hall located at the Elko campus.